Right, we're gonna do a little video update. I've been working a lot, not on the project, but on my job. So in the evenings, I've been sticking in my beams and my post. See, I have one row of posts and beams all installed. And I'm working on this row. Show you my little brackets. This is going to be a little demonstration on the palm nailer. Although it's only one handed, you won't get to see how fast. I don't know. Probably everybody out there uses pop. Once these beams got hot in the sun and dry, they started twisting. You can see here I have a turnbuckle pushing that one up. I mean, it's impossible to get them like they go, but certainly tried but there's my two main beams now I just got to put in some short beams which I think I'm gonna put the uh, floor in first or the BCI's in first and then go ahead and just put the beams up right where they go exactly and then they'll be perfect for my support for my walls and here's one day's work for one old man. But you know what? It's coming along. Looks like I got about 10 feet or so. So give me three or four more days and I'll be past the wheelbarrow. I'm getting close. I'm going to go feed the dogs and go give me something to eat. So I'm going to cut my BCI's here and um, we'll go ahead and start installing. Mine are 29 foot 10 and 1 half inches. So I made myself a jig. The jig get, goes right in. You hold it right here and the saw runs right here. So what I did is set my jig up here. So my little jig sets up tight. I made lines at 29 feet, 10 and a half inches. Grab it here. a perfectly cut truss every time I've tried it without the jig and it's okay a couple of cuts but the long run the jig really makes it better
And don't let it tip over on you. So I don't have any concrete in my walls. These BCIs have to be cut perfect because they are the spreaders that make sure that my two rim joists are parallel. So I have to come and put some screws in here to tie them together. Get them exactly where they go. It always works. Golly, gosh, there we go. And the other one in. So the one thing I'm doing that's kind of weird is instead of going and setting all these guys, when I did that, all of the tops of the joists are high, like almost a quarter of an inch. This, by doing it, it works out that the hanger is not hanging down, so it's not messing up sheetrock, but I don't like the joist sticking up. So I go ahead and set my joist, screw the screws in, get it perfect, and then put the hanger on afterwards. So because of that, nothing wants to set perfect. Nothing fits in there. I'm probably just creating a lot of extra work for myself. By doing it this way but since the jack does all the work I don't care now if I was paying an expensive crew that would be a different story and that gets my hanger nice and tight
Well, I hope you were able to get something out of the video. As far as I know, I'm the only one that's building the floor before I pour the walls. This will be Stinging Nettle Farms signing out. Hoping you guys have a great week. Take care.